that's a hard question, really. <laughs> I grew up in a non-Christian home in Montana, and our home from the outside looked like a typical American home where the, the parents worked and the kids, kids were at home. But it was a different kind of a home, and it was a home where my father was an alcoholic and wreaked havoc in our family. And at a very young age, we ended up leaving him and being on our own. And so I was raised by a single mom because he didn't stop drinking. So so um, she, she liked to take us to church when we were younger. We used to go to church and she would come and drop us off and, and we would go. I remember going to church and I learned there that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and I was one of those people that had a need to know Him personally and have my sins forgiven and have a relationship with Him. So uh, I did that. So really early on when I became a Christian and I felt like God forgave me, I, felt, I did feel it was important to forgive my father, who I really felt I hated uh, until that time, to get rid of the anger that I felt toward Him for what he, the havoc that he had caused on our family, the havoc that he had caused on my mom. I can, it's hard even for me to explain how that was an important piece of my, of my Christian life, to be able to forgive my father. And not holding on to bitterness and anger in your life. I also grew after that point to uh, love my father. It took. A, it wasn't. It was really early on that it was a, that I that I was able to do that. But it was still a process through the years to continue that forgiveness. And I do think um, writing a letter to my father, put it down on paper, that I didn't hold him accountable myself for what he had done, and he that, and really I was hoping that he would feel that forgiveness and come to Christ himself. I did notice a change in my own heart, and my own life, and it freed me up to enjoy my relationship with God and others. It helped me uh, as a wife to be able to re relate better with my husband too. So I would really encourage you to think through that process as well, to forgive the, your past hurts and the, and the people that have hurt you in the past. I know it's difficult, but it's also very freeing, and it would help you in your personal journey of knowing God.